In this era of smartphones, everyone fights hard not to have a cracked phone. With the world's fast developing technology, some phones are made with screens that can stand some conditions like scratches and minor knocks. However, some can't stand this apart from when they place screen guards on them. Today, we interacted with different people and they shared with us how they have been able to deal with the challenge of keeping their smartphones away from screen damages. People should leave broken screen guards in 2019. <laughs> Honestly. It's, a, it's a, the way you maintain that stuff. When you put on the back, back, the back pocket, yeah? when still you can see it, then you can break in it. The prices will be, they are different. The price, somebody can come and say, 8, 8K, 10K, 15K. They know the same, the same amount, but that one do not matter. I think a fake screen guard and an original screen guard is determined by the kind of phone that you handle. Well, if you have a nice phone, the screen guard is going to be nice, that's what I think. It's all, it won't be fake. If you have a cheap phone, well, chances are the screen guard is going to be fake, you know? A screen guard is an additional sheet of material, commonly polyethane or laminated glass, that can be attached to the screen of an electric device and protect it against physical damage. The first screen protector was designed and patented by Herbert Schregel in 1968 for use on television screens. Screen protectors first entered the mobile device market after the rise of personal digital assistants, commonly known as the PDAs. Back to Uganda, many smartphone owners embrace the screen guards that on average cost them between 10,000 Ugandan shillings to 20,000 Ugandan shillings. However, there is another way of protecting one's smartphone or any other electric gadget such as tablets, television screens or any other related gadget using the nanotechnology as Abrahim Ali Saidi Abdallah explains. People are really tired of the ordinary screen guards. They keep facing these problems of scratches, uh, minor minor damages of uh, your phone has fallen off a desktop or your phone has uh, slipped in your hands and it falls down. So with physics, we can't oppose uh, the laws of physics. Glass is meant to break. However, we reduce the risk with the nanotechnology. He continues to share the advantages of the technology they use now over the ordinary screen guards that people are used to. Uh, it covers the whole phone. Then uh, second of it is uh, if the phone has both sides glass, it can also be protected. Then the other advantage is it uh, enhances the, the sensitivity of the phone. It makes it look more beautiful. Then it hardens the screen uh, way more than uh, what we have with the ordinary screen protectors. Then uh, it makes the screen smoother. Uh, the smoothness uh, actually helps also in uh, enhancing the touch. Then um, the other advantages we have is uh, it is durable. Uh, the number of times we change the ordinary screen protectors eh, reduces because uh, this one, if, if kept well, it can last for over two years. Nanotechnology involves imaging, measuring, modeling and manipulating matter at this length scale. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter. A sheet of paper is about a hundred thousand nanometers thick. A single gold atom is about a third of a nanometer in diameter. This clearly shows how effective the nanotechnology can be if applied to any gadget. So this was the ordinary screen guard that was on my simple phone. But then after applying the nanotechnology, we are going to test it and see whether it's really better than the previous screen guard that was on my phone. Let's go. Wow. So as you see, the driller had to go through this screen guard. Let's get to see what was put on my phone, the nanotechnology. Wow, my phone is still safe, as you can see. So if it can be protected from a driller, then how about a minor scratch? Joshua Mitala, for Speak Uganda, Rotv TV, Kampala.